Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a trying new stuff video. First of all, I have braids. Uh, these braids are uh, about a week old, I think. They're really long and they are like just straight back. I have a little design on the side. Yeah, they're cute. Got my baby hairs out. <laughs> this is a necklace from Argentino Vivo. And then this is a necklace from um, Be Happy Live Pink. You guys know I love my Be Happy Live Pink necklaces. Um, you can get your own custom nameplate uh, necklaces with your name on it. I have the one with my Roman numerals on it for my wedding date too. Uh, this one says Mrs. Logan, but you can get whatever you want on there. Yeah, I have a link in the description box where you can check Be Happy Live Pink out. That's where I get them from. I also have a coupon code, so you can use that to your advantage, okay? Been sick the past couple days, so excuse me if I'm stuffy. Let's go ahead and get started because I'm talking too much. So, first and foremost, I got some new primer. This is the Cover FX Blurring Primer and the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. I've always had a Thing for cover effects I love all their products they have a really good selection of products for african-american women in particular which I really like this is the blurring primer I'm hoping this primer is a lot like the uh, smashbox photo finish uh, pore minimizing primer because that's been my favorite primer um, for the summertime because it really helps to smooth out my pores smooth out my texture but also helps to like prevent oils and um, oily nests actually I think this is like the exact same formula it's like a mousse formula oh yes honey this is it this is it I know I'm gonna love this I know I'm gonna love this I love smoothing primers feels matte it got rid of that shine can you tell I like it I'm gonna do my normal routine because it is still summertime it's 90 degrees outside so I can't afford to just let my makeup slide all over my face <laughs> so this is the Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder in medium deep um, and I have to use this all over my face before I put on my foundation I just have to because if I don't um, my foundation I don't wear a lot of foundation in the summertime but my foundation tends to be more oily throughout the day so I have to put this powder down first and I find that putting down a layer of powder, number one, it gives me more control over how much foundation I use because that way I'm not like packing on like liquids and creams and all that to cover everything. I feel like this gives me a good base to work with um, and it kind of helps me to see where I actually need the most coverage because sometimes we put a whole bunch of foundation in places where we don't need it and then we end up cakey. And in the summertime, ain't nobody got time to be cakey. So I'm gonna make sure to blend that out around my hairline because it seems as though it's trying to chill in my baby hairs. Um, I'm gonna try a new foundation. It's a Black Radiance uh, Color Perfect HD Mousse Foundation. I used to love mousse foundations. I used to wear them all the time. In fact, I didn't wear foundation all over my face when I was in high school. I like to have a minimal coverage that wasn't oily, greasy, wet feeling you know um i feel like i can work with mousse foundations quicker than regular foundations like liquid foundations and i don't think this is gonna match me uh hopefully <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come out too dark because then that would be a disaster and we don't want a disaster this is a brush from uh morphe it's the e20 it's like really mousse like it's a Oh, it's not too dark. Okay, girl. Lately, I've been using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer um, to like cover dark spots and stuff, but instead of using that, I'm gonna use this because I feel like it's like literally the exact same texture. This is full coverage, but it's not like heavy, heavy, you know, heavy duty. But I like that because in the summertime, I don't need heavy duty coverage. When you put on like a liquid or cream foundation, I feel like it doesn't cover texture as well. Um, using mousse like texture stuff on your face smooths. So the Cover Effects primer that I just used is a smoothing primer. Using a mousse foundation on top of that, it adds that extra smoothingness. I'm just gonna use my NARS Creamy Radiant. It's been my favorite at the moment. So I'm just gonna use that under the eyes. This is the color Caramel. I love my shape tape, but it's too bright right now. It's just way too light for me right now. Since I got a tan, it don't work. I'm gonna use a Real Technique sponge. I just bought some new ones. 
I definitely haven't used these in a long time. These are very soft. They're much more spongy than I remember. I think the first ones that they made were not as spongy because when I first started using these as compared to the Beauty Blender, I just felt like they weren't soft enough. But these are definitely more soft now. So I think they fixed them or at least made them better. There's some new Real Techniques brushes out. They're like blue and I want to try them because you guys know I love Real Techniques. So if you don't know, now you know. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder to set under my eyes. And we're just gonna apply that liberally. Now I'm not gonna like bake, I'm not gonna try to bake, but I'm gonna let this sit just because I want to not make a mess with my eyeshadow. But uh, this is the Soft Focus Powder. I feel like this is a little, let me see, put it in my bronzer area. Yeah, this is a bronzer on me. It's nice though, ooh. <laughs> I always put it on my eye area, even though I'm gonna wear eyeshadow, I'll just put it there anyway, just to give me some definition. It's a very soft and diffused powder, so it's not gonna give me like a super harsh contour or anything. And I like this powder. Ooh, this powder is so soft. Come through, Black Radiance. Don't play with me today. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't bother me, I'm working. So after I do that, I'm not gonna use my Too Faced powder because that just did everything I needed it to do. I'm gonna go into our palette. So this is the Naked, the Naked Heat palette. Uh, you guys may have seen this bad boy bouncing around on the interwebs. Um, and I've been excited to try this. Yeah, this is the palette. It's really pretty. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this packaging. Yes, boo. So this is the palette. This is what it looks like. Oops. It comes with a brush, of course. All naked palettes come with a brush. Pretty pretty. The shadows look very pigmented, so let's give it a go. Um, I'm going to start off with a neutral eyeshadow to put in the crease. And then we're gonna work our way into these more warm tones. So I'm gonna use Low Blow. And I'm gonna put that in my crease area. I need a more fluffy brush for that. It appears to be a warm tone brown, but it's not like super dark. Uh, but it's just good enough for my crease, so. If you are lighter than me, this will probably be a darker, more smoky color on you. Okay. It's blending out nicely. It's not like harsh or anything, so that's cool. Just gonna blend that underneath. I love warm tone palettes, so this is about to make my entire life. Yeah, I'm gonna use Heat Devil. I'm gonna put that on the outer crease area, outer V. And I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my eye too gonna kind of do a halo effect on the eye and this is a MAC 217 but honestly every brush company has a brush like this so I have a ton of these and just from different brands and they all work the same Ooh, these eyeshadows are nice guys this might be the new go-to guys back with that low blow color uh, we're just gonna blend out those harsh lines I'm gonna put down a color um, um, right here in the middle so I'm gonna use this color lumber and I'm gonna put that right here in the center you can most definitely use an eyeshadow base that will help your eyeshadow Ooh, yes honey that'll help your eyeshadow stand out better uh, eyeshadows are just not my thing and I don't feel like they move a lot on me anyway so I don't care as much but if you feel like your eyeshadows crease a lot on you or they move or they fade you could definitely put something down first I think this palette is one of those do no wrong palettes like you know how you can like do no wrong with some palettes like you could just literally put down any colors and they look good I feel like this is one of those palettes that's how I feel now I'm not 100% sure on that don't quote me uh, I kind of wanted to try this dirty top color but I don't know where to put it I think I'm gonna put the Dirty Talk in the inner corner. Yep, that did what I thought it would. Wow, I like this palette, wow. They're soft and velvety and they're they're blending perfectly. This is great. 
Uh, I'm gonna move out of the eyes. I love this palette, so it's a win. Um, I'm gonna take a clean brush and just clean up these edges just a tiny bit. Okay, um, going back, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit um, and do my brows. So this is ColourPop Brow Pencil, uh, black and brown. You guys know I don't really vary with my eyebrow techniques because I love my brows and we have a relationship and I don't want to do anything to disgrace them or hurt them or make them feel violated. So trying new things on my brows just never really happens. Try to keep my brow routine as simple as possible. And I've used a lot of brow products in my day, but none of them have been as reliable and trustworthy and faithful as these ColourPop brow pencils, okay? And yes, I like these more than the NYX ones. I like these better than the Benefit ones. The Benefit ones are great, but they, they're more expensive. It just doesn't make sense to me to pay $20 for a brow product when you can get this for five, and it works just as good. I'm gonna use some lashes from Your Lash Bar. These are the Dirty Martini. Actually, I have a pair that I already wore. Let's do that, because I don't wanna open any pair. Um, but Your Lash Bar is restocking soon, and they're gonna be launching new lashes on the 10th. I believe which is on Monday make sure you go to the website like right when right when they launch because you might want to like actually sign up for the emails and stuff um, my new favorite lash glue is the house of lashes lash glue it works really well and it lasts all day and it's really thin so I can apply a little of it but it actually still like holds really well those are the eyes I hope it looks good that's my Taraji to the Taraji. This is Taraji Glow. She never fails me. For highlight, I have I actually have a new product that I'm gonna use. This is the um oops, I missed. Ooh, it's magnetic because it's stuck to the table. This is the Estee Edit. Uh, and this is their glow palette, the glow face palette. Um, and there's some pretty highlights in here down here that are like coppery. And I think that's gonna go good with this look. So I'm gonna take this one down here and I'm gonna blend that over my cheeks. Ooh, that's nice. It's subtle though. It's not like coming off like a lot. Maybe I need a stiffer brush. There we go. I have another highlight that I wanna try. This is Most Nominated by um, K-Lux Cosmetics. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> that did a lot more than I thought it would. Um, so we're a little extra highlighted today, but it's, it's fine. We're just gonna pretend like we tried to do that. This, <laughs> this is a lot. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender or my sponge rather, to blend that in because it's a lot going on here. Let's do this lip pencil in Chicory. This is a MAC lip pencil. It's like a reddish brown, brick red color. This is an ultra satin lip in 951. And I'm gonna put Curvy on top. Now I'm gonna use a setting spray. Hopefully the setting spray works. Um, I will have to give you guys an update later. It's supposed to be mattifying, so we'll see. That's the finished look, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, and that you liked the look. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and that will let me know that you wanna see more videos like this. Um, but other than that, I hope that you guys have a great day. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.